somebody the other day asked me what kind of clay I would recommend, and I would recommend JMAC Classic Clay, uh, the medium hardness clay. Hard is probably too hard unless you like it that way, and soft is probably too, too soft, I don't know. Anyway, you can order it from Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado at sculpturedepot.net. That's a 50-pound box I was just showing, and uh, this is the way the clay comes, is in a 10-pound block, and I got one block right here, and this is a block of clay that I cut in half after I had warmed up the clay, and uh, that's uh, part of the uh, clay right there, the 10-pound block, but that's about 5 pounds of clay right there. Now, I've shown cutting up the clay before, and I use this uh, drywall tool to cut the clay, but I have to soften the clay first under a 100-watt bulb, a light bulb, and uh, I use a swing arm lamp for that. Uh, you can see I've got clay in there already, and that's what I'm working on for this clay right here. But... Uh, that's uh, basically it. You just warm up the clay. Uh, you put the block of clay uh, on top of uh, your... I, I use a uh, carton that I got from the dollar store, the store records in and things like that. Well, it works well for doing clay. And uh, you can get a dish pan, too. Uh, that'll work fine. But uh, I, put, I lay it on top of this, and I just put the light above it and let it sit there for about a couple hours. And that softens the clay enough so that I can take this tool here and cut it in half and then cut it in smaller pieces. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give that information to that person and to anybody else that's interested. Time to play with some clay. the uh, braid and I'm not going to show how I do that because I show that on my uh, instructional DVDs and again I will not show that which people pay money to see and uh, to learn from um, it's only fair to them and I hope you understand that but uh, I'll come back after I uh, get that going. I, I'm not sure I want to put it on there yet. Hmm. I got a lot of work to do yet on uh, this warrior's neck and chest area. And I think I'm going to... No, I can't take those off because I already filled in behind them. Yeah, this bow is too small right now. It's more... They had short bows for when they rode on horses, and they had longer bows uh, when they were on the ground. And uh, this gentleman probably would have one for horseback, but uh, I don't know what to do yet. Let's see what I can Okay, do. I have the braid made, and I'm going to put it aside right now, because I want to work on this neck. Now again, you see me using a silicone chip tool, but you can't get these anymore, so don't ask. You can make your own, I'm sure. There's a, if you do a little Google search, or a little, not Google, but a video search on YouTube, there's a lady that actually uh, shows you how to make your own uh, tools.
can see I've placed the uh, braid on his head and uh, now it's time to put some texture in the hair. Alright, what I'm trying to do now is work out the stresses on the blanket. His head is turning.
Well, I'm just holding the camera in my hand so you can see the uh, piece the way it looks right now. The blanket's working out okay. I've still got some work to do on it, but uh, and I've got to figure out the stresses and strains on the blanket. Um, I'm not going to have time to do that today because I've got to go and get my tires on. But I'm liking the way it's looking right now. And uh, I think it's going to turn out okay. I like, I like that look right there. Yeah, I like it. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll uh, see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.